Let's get up. My TV was on the whole night. Alright, y'all. And it is cold as heck. I'm gonna get on this machine today. That's what I feel like doing, so I'm gonna get on this one. came and got straight on the machine and just a little frustrated this morning but I'll talk to y'all about that later this music is gonna mess me up through this y'all mm, I wanted to give up today I really just I don't know I was I've been groggy moody all of the above and I just was not feeling it at all as you see I'm stretching now I came in here my mind was all over the place I just went and got on the machine like and then I was like uh nope stay on it and I stayed on for 15 minutes and then I said okay well let me do the treadmill because I really don't feel like doing the workout the strength this area right here strength training area I really don't feel like it so I said maybe let me get on the treadmill so it can push me a little further to just want to stay a little bit more so I did 10 minutes on that I said I still feel groggy but girl get your butt in that room and stretch and get it done we want this body to transform and it's not going to transform by going home and getting in the bed and eating bonbons so yeah <laughs> i pushed through this shot so let's get this workout started let's speed it up yet today was so crappy was so crappy like I'm a little frustrated I'm a little frustrated um and I know this happens during my journey but I'm constipated I haven't used the bathroom and I took that that magnesium what last week yeah last week and I used the bathroom that day I haven't used the bathroom again one time I used it and it was the other day but I haven't used it I don't use the bathroom every day and I know sometimes you can burn off the calories so it's not nothing to come out but it's not like I'm eating fully healthy when I do eat so I know some of that stuff is empty calories and stuff that's waste that need to come out so it's been frustrating because I've been feeling bloated and I'm probably have to take another mag I'm probably not gonna take this magnesium I'm probably gonna do Epsom salt because Epsom salt cleans me out good, but it's so disgusting. I might do Epsom salt. Um, so that's been frustrating to know that I'm constipated and it, it messes with the mental of the scale and all that stuff. So I'm really frustrated about that. Then um, this morning, I don't know what it was. I got up. I was ready. Um, Mom said she couldn't go because she wasn't feeling well. And then I don't know, it just threw me completely off. Not, I mean, I'm not gonna say in a good way or a bad way, it just threw me completely off. I came in here, I didn't stretch. I went straight on the machine saying to myself, oh, I'm just gonna do this machine, I'm not doing nothing else. And so 
I started on that and I got, got as I got into it, it made me feel better. And I did 15 minutes and I feel like I still wasn't ready to do what I'm, I plan to do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is go into the, the 30 minute workout. So I said, okay, let me get on the treadmill. So I got on the treadmill and at 10 minutes, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready. So I did 15 on that, 10 on the treadmill, then went in there, stretched before I did the workout. Cause you know, you definitely got to stretch if you're going to be doing um, strength training. So I ended up doing that and it was like, I kind of felt good. I'll say three fourths of the way through. Then I start feeling back, like, oh, you know, looking at myself, seeing myself, like, oh, this is gonna take forever. Oh gosh, push me through. Let me get through that hump. I just want to see a certain number on the scale. I don't. It, it, no matter what you guys say, I don't understand. It is. It is something that is mental for me and a lot of people because it helps you to continue pushing when you're already pushing yourself with everything you got in you, and it's just something you need as a motivation. That is motivation to me when I see a certain number starts to go down on the scale. It is so motivating to me. Like I said, it makes me feel like, girl, all that work you did, come on, come on, let's keep pushing. I just need to see that, and that's just me. And there's nothing no one can say to change that um, because I understand that I, this happened to me before. And as soon as I get to this certain number, in a certain place, it's like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing with everything in me. Um, even trying to do this uh, warrior diet slash OMED diet. OMED diet is really truly one meal a day within an hour. So when people say, oh, I'm on the OMED diet, it really is one meal a day within an hour. I'm really doing warrior, like going between warrior and OMAD. Some days I do OMAD where I do the one meal and try to eat it up and I'm done. But then some days I feel frustrated, like, okay, this is a day I can't really do OMAD, so I do warrior. So if you hear me say warrior, that's the 24, 20 hours of fasting, four hour window to eat. And then OMAD is just one meal a day where you give that hour of time after 23 hours of fasting. So yeah, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah, I'm pushing to go get a massage and I will show y'all my calorie burn. Oh, I can show you my calorie burn now. It is 376 before I go in and sometimes you continue to burn. So I'm going to just leave it on and just take a picture. All right, guys. So this was the calorie burn and I'm off to go home, shower and relax or well, rest. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this um, phone. It's been acting really freaking stupid. Um, it just keep cutting off, cutting off, cutting off while I'm recording. And I keep deleting stuff, so I don't know. I'm going to have to delete some more stuff and restart the phone and maybe um, clear the Google cookies or whatever from it. The cookies from Google history. I'm about to repaint my nails. Look at this, y'all. This is the one I was talking about. That's why I had a white thing over my hand. Guys, this is really not focusing. My nail crack right there. See it? My nail crack right... Why does my pinky look orange? Cameras be showing all type of crazy stuff. But anyways, my natural nail crack right there. And I cut up a piece of tea bag and I got some glue. So I'm about to do the tea bag method where you can save your nail because I really don't want to have to break that piece off. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. Oh, she's so loud. Um, yep, so I'm trying to do that. But mm, uh, it is 11.09. Y'all know after I come home from the gym. I usually um go to sleep basically and then wake up and do whatever whatever I need. I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna do my nails. I wanna do this color again because I really love this color. It was so pretty. So do my nails and um what else I'm gonna do? Do some straightening up or whatever, but probably get right back in the bed. Like that's until it's time for me to go out and work. Um that's just how I feel. So like I don't want to do nothing. I really don't. And it's helping me. <laughs> it really is because it has been frustrating. Um, today was a frustrating day. Very frustrating. Very frustrating day. Oh, Jesus. And um, just trying to be positive. I'm trying to do my best to be positive. But it's hard. It's hard. I'm constipated. It's not cool at all. It's not cool. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Um, I might have to take another magnesium citrate like I told y'all. But then again, I don't know. I don't know.
if that's the best route or I don't know. I guess we shall see, right? So uh I hate when this happens. Okay. Yeah, so basically you just put the tea bag on your finger and you drench it with super glue and let it dry and that's what I did. And then you can't really even see the tea bag. It just literally blends right in with your nail. And once it dry good, you um just kind of file over it real lightly and go from there. But that's it, guys. I'm frustrated. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. You know, usually we don't put anything on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I have Monday through Thursday because usually we're either going somewhere, family night, or something like that. Or usually I have some form of leftover um, just so I'm not always having to figure something out. Even if I got the menu, I wouldn't have to figure it out. But you know what I mean. Just not figure it out. Cook every day. So, yeah. Let's see. Could y'all see that? Like, it done sealed up the nail. So, I'm going to finish doing that. Focusing on getting this fixed. Because that being day was not the business. <laughs> Please subscribe if you're new. Please share this channel. Um, I want people to see this transformation, understand and see these confessions and realize I'm human. I'm doing this the right way by eating and fitness um, for me. Um, and I'm sharing this with you guys. These are my confessions, my internal thoughts, my thinking. Um, one of my subscribers says she don't like when I talk negative about myself. And no, sis, it's not. And I, I said that in the comments. It's not that I'm being negative about myself. It's that... Even the most positive person has certain thoughts in their head. And so with confessions, I'm giving you the thoughts that are in my brain because I don't want you to think that it's all uh, peaches and cream. You know, um, this journey isn't peaches and cream. I want you to know what I'm thinking, know how I feel and what is going through my brain at the time because a lot of people feel that way or a lot of people might go be going through that. And I don't want them to think, well, dang. This must not be for me because I, all I'm thinking is negative or all I'm thinking is that it's hard or I don't want to do it or I can't do it or I can't, you know. So I don't want people to think that that's what's going on over here because it's not. It's definitely not. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. So, yep. So, yeah, guys, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to keep pushing. Let me get off here. I'm wasting time. I'm just rambling. Bye. What your girl is going to make really quick. Good job, guess. Good job, guess. All right. Let me get started. My last set of pepperonis. Um, and then I'm going to eat I think I want a rice cake until the food is done. Mm. That's probably what I'm gonna eat. A rice cake with peanut butter. Can't go wrong. Well, oh, not so much. Mm. I'll get some more of this because my daughter eats this too. So that's what I'm gonna eat. I told mom to come at six, it's five. Basically, the meat is cooking now. Salad already cut up. And y'all shall see what all it is. Um, I just mixed some mayo with this zesty Italian. And I'm going to put that on our salads. This is mine. This is hers. Hers has onion. She likes onion in hers. So, my mom. That's what I'm talking about. So, waiting for the rest of the food. And then I'll show you the plate. Unfortunately, I asked my daughter to put these in the oven. And she put a regular potato instead of a sweet. Should have checked them, but so we have to eat white potatoes. I wanted to eat sweet, but I guess we'll have to eat these. Um, I'm gonna eat this after dinner. I was too busy cooking, I ain't even eat it. So, my food is well, our food is done. Mom and our food is done, and we have our um, shrimp wrap bacon and the baked potato. Not gonna waste it, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, I got cream cheese on mine. She just, I don't know if she like cream cheese, so I just put butter, salt, and pepper, Himalayan salt. And these are our salads. So those are our meals, guys. Yep, and I'm going to have a ginger ale, which is always my 
meal treat. I ate everything except for the Slim Jim, but I ate all of my food and I ate the rice cake. So I'm just watching movie, having movie night. I'm on the couch <laughs> laying down. Um, having a movie day, well, night with Rizzy and my husband. And I went to her friend's sleepover, um, which was, didn't want her to go, but she was 16. And we met the mom and her addresses and all that stuff. So, yeah, so I'm like. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, because she don't really like to stay nowhere. Um, she wanted him to come over here, but I was like, not this weekend. So she didn't want to stay in the house, and everybody was going over there, so she decided to go. So hopefully she has fun and everything is okay. But yeah, I'm just going to drink my water for the rest of the night and just chill until tomorrow. It's time to eat. Um, so I'll come back if I have something I'm, that's really, really on my heart about today. But for now, I'm just going to relax and watch TV. All right.